I'm a, I'm an anime Morty. Yeah, yeah. This week they announced Rick and Morty season eight won't be coming until 2025. Mm. Action! But that's because they're gonna do the Rick and Morty anime, which they showed a trailer of right at the season finale of season seven, which was in what December. Yeah. So I, I, I so it's not it might not be longer than a year wait, but at this point, if to me, if they're that close, we were talking about before we went on. I don't know why they don't lead the anime in with the actual show. The show that people I'm, want I'm, and love? I'm and already yeah, really confused. It's already not Justin Roiland anymore, so what is the anime going to be then? Just the same thing? Just Well, okay, so the anime is from the director, uh, oh, God help me with this name, uh, Taka- Takashi sure. Sano? Sano? Sounds, sounds um, right to me. <laughs> uh, he did Tower of God. Uh, anime. I'm not sure what that, okay. what that is. I've never uh, heard of it. But he previously did the two acclaimed anime shorts with Rick and Morty. Uh, Rick and Morty versus the Genocider and <laughs> Summer Meets God. <laughs> the Rick Genocider. Okay. Uh, I didn't know these existed. I didn't know there were anime. Yeah, I guess it's the, I remember it's like some weird shorts they had when this when it was like at the height when Rick and Morty was like at its peak when they had the people that were mad about the Szechuan sauce and, and stuff. <laughs> so I think that may have gotten buried. Oh. Under that, okay. But the anime is is being described as standing on its own, like its own universe. It doesn't have anything to do with the actual show. Cool. And the first season consists of ten episodes. Isn't that what we wanted? Don't do the regular but, show that people love and like that you're actually doing plot with now. It's weird because start it's like, a but spin-off. it is the same. Yeah, but it's not. They're saying like the multiverse exploits of Rick and gang post challenges to the family <laughs> bond, but always rise to the occasion. So it's 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 an anime version of. Rick and Morty of, of Rick and Morty. So, but but Rick and Morty is the animated. It's already animated. So so it's so just why... a, it's just a different art style. <laughs> yeah, the, the, to me, I would just be like, cool. This is season eight, and if you really want to be different, then all of a sudden, season eight is just, just anime. Anime, but use the same voices, but and it, everybody would be like, what's going on? Right. But it would be funny because if you didn't change anything but have an anime, then at the very end of the season you make a joke about how they like why they all look different, well, like why yeah. it's and like then, that or something. Yeah, and then you just roll right into the next season. Or if it's like yeah, just its own thing, like anthology, it's just like they're not doing like parodies of popular animes like each episode, are they? Or are they? No, it sounds like this guy is taking his own his 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 take on Rick and Morty. What it sounds like they they gave what it to you... like a big anime guy. <laughs> And he's doing it. Telecom animation film is who's producing it. His his last quote w- when they uh, was, "I'm honored to have ha- uh, have been given an opportunity to tell a new story about this amazing family. I hope you enjoy their <laughs> adventures." I do enjoy their adventures. I have enjoyed their adventures for seven fucking seasons now. This is what I'm not understanding. Like you're right. Well, Just do another season, like, and now it's just anime. Say it's season eight. Yeah. Season eight anime edition, and everyone's like, "What?" The only thing that made me stop liking Rick and Morty back in the day is because they thought they were Game of Thrones. And they go, you got to wait <laughs> three years in between seasons. And I'm like, <laughs> cool, I'm not going to. Fuck your show. <laughs> like, you say Wubba Lubba Dub Dub and, you know, like, See, fart pickles or whatever, you know? I think they're trying to give this enough takeoff, though. I mean, you're right. They, you know, they shouldn't start smelling their own farts. But I think mm-hmm. they're trying to give enough room to have this stand on its own. And I have a feeling if it if it falls flat... All of a sudden, season eight will be this Christmas, and it only a year from the last. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I could see them pushing it up if it doesn't absolutely, <laughs> absolutely hit. Which is weird. I mean, I mean, Rick and Morty's a popular weird. brand, so it like probably will hit. You know, but yeah, but I feel like f- four or five years ago, this would have hit better. Yeah, literally. You like, know, and- not just the shorts mm-hmm. that they did. I mean, the, like they should have went right then and there when they made the shorts mm-hmm. and the shorts were popular. They should have said, put this into production yesterday. Yeah, like in between season like four and five or three yeah, and four, you could right? Just drop like, yeah. A couple episodes, yeah, in between seasons while we were waiting 100 years. Yeah. Then you throw the anime on. Yeah. I would- and then you go, hey guys, sorry it's taken forever. Why don't you watch this cool thing we did? And then I would be more inclined to watch it because I'm like, oh, okay, right. I'm already waiting for the next season, so might as so well. You might as well have something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's I'm, weird. Personally, I don't like it that much to go like, I need a buffer before you give me the real season. It's like, no, just move up yeah. the real season. Like, guess, what do you mean? Since it's not going to tie into anything. Right. If it was like they go through a portal and now they look weird and half the time it's Morty going, why do we look like this? Then it's funny. Or it's just like a dimension where they're anime. Or it's, it's what I mean. Like it's some kind of weird dimension they're in and they're making and we'll jokes get, about it the entire season. We'll get a crossover. 
may be or they'll but you uh, gotta watch pass a portal trailer, or some shit though. Oh, there's it's a like trailer? Full, there's a full, it's full Japanese anime. Oh. Like, different voices and like, oh. I'm not even going to attempt to imitate it because it'll come off racist, oh. I'm sure. So I'm not even going to try. Speaking of weird announcements, we have been, like, this This goes into a special place of things we cover with Constantine 2, where this movie is definitely <laughs> happening until it's absolutely not happening, until it's for sure happening, and then it's not happening. Until it isn't. Happening again. Until it's not. Yeah. And this movie, besides Constantine 2, is Tron 3. Mm. And like a year and a half ago or so, we were like, we covered this whole thing, and they were like, it's definitely happening, and... Jared Leto's absolutely going to be the main character, and we're not sure who else we're getting back from the original. And then all of a sudden, like the director came out or somebody was, who was like, like no, this "Nope, no, the movie's it's definitely not real." Not happening. And then we got comments going, "Yeah, you guys didn't know they were like totally not doing this anymore." And then we look up a story, <laughs> and it's like, "Oh shit, they're not doing it anymore." Yeah, and the then, story. You guys didn't know being in Superbad. You guys didn't know. They're totally, we're totally done. Yeah, we're not doing that. And, yeah. and now oh. this week, it's like. Hey, you know uh, Jillian Anderson from the X Files? Yeah, she's just joined the cast of Tron. Oh, of Neutron. I'm like, what Neutron? You guys said <laughs> there wasn't going to be one. You kept telling me that. Yeah. Except so, for when we announced new cast members. <laughs> <laughs> surprise! Anderson yeah. joins the cast list that includes, as we had reported before, uh, Jared Leto, Jody Turner Smith, <laughs> and Past Lives Breakout Greta Lee. These are the people that are confirmed. Um, nothing else. As far as the film's wider plot or her uh, or Jillian Anderson's role has has confirmed, but Disney has confirmed the pick will follow Jared Leto as the main character as Ari Ari's Ar, um, Ares, sorry, Ares. a fictional character Ares. who crosses over from the world of video games to planet Earth. So they're gonna do like someone so finally it's breaks reverse Tron. Somebody finally breaks out of the of the grid like they were planning yeah. in the second one, like they were trying to do. So someone's gonna get out, and it's gonna be Jared okay. Leto. Like Jared Leto. Directing Tron is uh, Joachim, it looks like. J-O-A-C-H-I-M. Joachim. Okay. Uh, sure. Ronin, uh, who helmed both Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man, Tell No Tales, and Maleficent, Mistress of Evil for Disney. Okay, both pretty mid-movies, but all right. <laughs> oh, Evan I'll Peters, Cameron Monica- Monaghan, and Sarah Jardin- Jardins. Jardins round out the cast. Okay. I'm killing the, the last. There's too many J's and D's all bound together. Um, they round out the cast for this hypothetical movie we still yeah, aren't so, 100% like, sure we're getting. That's what I'm trying <laughs> to understand because they were like, so we just aren't doing this this movie. And now it's like, no, no, no. No, we definitely no, we are. are doing this movie. And it's, no, we're doing it's it. got Evan Peters and Jared Leto. And I mean, it's and it's coming. Well, you know the Aries, the E in Aries will have a three. Um. <laughs> yeah, they, it'll be Tron R3s. Yeah. R3s. <laughs> <laughs> AR3s. Jared like, Leto can probably only act good if he plays a computer program gone rogue. That's true. So. Hey, I think he can nail playing a computer program. You're yeah, because right. he does <laughs> in every other fucking movie. <laughs> Henry Cavill, who hasn't been able to consistently work. do his work and things he loves, like uh, Witcher. And they said, you know the, what? We appreciate the DC that. Like, universe. <laughs> you play the games and you're like into this and you look like the guy, but we're going to do it. We're going to go a different direction. And he said, cool, I quit. <laughs> and then Superman, who where everybody loved him and begged him to come back, and he said, I will come back. And they go, hey, thanks for coming back, but while you're here, you're fired. Yeah, he did come back, was in Black Adam, <laughs> and then James Gunn took over and said, no, we're not doing that. And everybody's like, yeah, James Gunn! <laughs> it's like, what happened? <laughs> By the way, that tide is turning. There's been so many reports. We're going to have to do a jumping the gun soon. Oh, yes, good. He's, good. He's we promise no 2024 it. jumping the guns, Bean. <laughs> he's yeah, not allowed. Right, well. he, he has no movies coming out this year. He can't say anything. So back to back to Henry Cavill. Um, he is given an update on Warhammer forty thousand forty k forty k. I'm reading it. I'm reading it typed out. You're gonna get it's sh- literally on, you're colli- get sh- on collider sh- shredded in the con- I, I, I just I just literally anchor manned it because it's written out in collider as Henry Cavill confirms big things are happening with Warhammer four zero comma zero zero zero. So if you're just reading. Warhammer 40,000. How can Collider not even write it right? I know. They're, they're like a nerd news site. <laughs> that doesn't... Jesus. Anyway. So he's producing and starring in the game. Yeah. And he is the reason it's even getting made. 
uh so that's pretty cool so he's like he's one of his favorite games he's a super nerd about like him, like he's in the war world of warcraft which i'm surprised he didn't get casted it feels like amazon felt really bad for henry cavill or cavill and they went he's a good actor and they sat sat him down with a meeting and said what do you want to do <laughs> yeah we have all the money known to man because we're amazon <laughs> what do you so want we can buy whatever property you want to do yeah and we'll do it for you buddy. take your pick brah because we're gonna give it to you yeah so I'm super excited. I'm not a fan of Warhammer. I don't know Warhammer. I don't know what anything to do with Warhammer is. But yeah, I just know it's like super deep lore, crazy sci-fi fantasy, right? Yeah, it's like more. It's like sci-fi World of Warcraft. Sci-fi, you know. And I know like I'm gonna get fantasy. killed for that, but it is but though. But that's of, yeah. That's kind of what it is. That's what I can discern. I've read so. So I, there. So people make fun of the Marvel going up and down with their stuff. Peacock going up and down you liked twisted metal then ted came out and farted in your face mm -hmm. but now they have finally released season seven of the super fan episodes now i've been of, of the office of the now, office i've been waiting yep. for this to start i didn't want to start season one until like they're done you know what i mean i mm -hmm. want to know when all the super fan episodes drop so i can just go crazy and binge go all nuts the episodes. yeah that's what i was waiting for too this is pretty much like some people call it the end of the office where like michael leaves is what they're up to right. now. So it's like, eh, yeah. But you said something. You go, like, maybe the super fan episodes will make those last two seasons better, and I agree. I genuinely agree. I think agree. they will. Yeah. I mean, adding another five or ten minutes, and here we were saying, here's another example. Like, a few shows, because we talked about it in our reviews for Ted and other stuff, sitcoms don't normally, can't do more than 30 minutes because it's it becomes a different thing because it's not a sitcom anymore. It becomes a whole different kind of show. It almost becomes like a like a mini movie, like a short film. Because yeah. you can't really do sitcom type shows in more than twenty five minutes. The office extended cuts, some of them do break thirty. So this is one of those weird things to me that, you know, and they're and they're good. You know what I mean? Like I remember a couple of the specials they did when it when it was when the show was on. They had like the forty minute, like super extended episode, like around Super Bowl time and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. So I'm actually like... curious to sit down after we because yeah. we bang that drum a lot. And I'm just curious to see how how I want to go through and see if it works as well, if it actually makes the shows better, or is it just more content that it ends up feeling like the wheels are spinning on the show, like 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 Ted. I think it it is more content because people say like it's it's better, you know, like or it's like it just gives you more, you know. I don't think it it'll change anything in the series, but like it'll just hey, maybe this joke got cut, you know, and we're gonna put it back in. And like, then it, it's still funny, right. but that's what I'm saying. As long as they don't overstuff it, yeah. With, you know what I mean? With but like, because many, it was um, on like network TV, it had to be like, okay, thirty minutes, like twenty five with commercials, basically. You know what I mean? Like, because it was on like cable, it was on like network right. television. Now it's like, no, it's streaming. People binge it, so we want longer episodes. You know? Well, that makes me think. Do you think they have cuts available because they own shows like Brooklyn Nine Nine and and Thirty Rock? Oh. And Parks and Recs, and that style of of shooting, where you probably do a hundred takes of different jokes to see what works and different. Do you know what I mean? Like you think we'll get super fan episodes of more shows I, I'm once this is to over? See, right, I would like that. I would mm. think that would be. I would take. Like, uh, I think Parks and Rec you would need to do next because that's like Parks. Okay, the oldest. You know, out and of it's all only them. like seven seasons, right? And it's Whatever. short. Yeah, so. Okay, so here you go. Just to give you an example of the run times in the first Office Superfan season, like the pilot is 38 minutes. Okay, the wow. The second episode is 33, the third episode 31, the fourth 35, the fifth 39. So 39 is the, 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 the huh. yeah. Still no, uh, the whole first season, still no, 39. <laughs> still no 50 minute episodes of the Office nope. Superfan extra content cut edition. Hmm. No, that's weird. It's still Isn't not as long weird? as the first episode of Ted. Yeah, that's that's say that's pretty weird. I'd say that's pretty weird. Like that, but we're that wrong though. Think... So, and it's not a sitcom. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually curious, and I'm not gonna name all the run times, but I'm curious if any of them that are released um, go 50 minutes. Go fifty. Let me let me just go. Let me just kind of scroll here. I'm just gonna pick a couple. Isn't like the finale of like the entire series like a longer normal episode? So maybe that one, you know, maybe like, but that's it. Like I could see that okay. one being fifty minutes to an hour. Um, Season two, I've scrolled almost to the end, all the way through. 
You want to take a stab while I'm looking at season three, what you think the longest season Four, two episode 40, was? 42 minutes. Didn't get into the 40s. Wow. I see. Okay. <laughs> 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 the most beloved show or beloved sitcom of all time. Um, comedy, I'll say, because people attack us regardless of what we say. So, yeah. It doesn't even hit 40 minutes in its second season. The, f- the wow. first one is in the third season. It's 47 minutes, and it's the Christmas episode. Okay. Okay. So that's like, that's it's a, a Christmas special. It's a special. Yep. Yeah. And it's the only one hmm. in the entire season that goes that long. Oh, and then the, the season finale, which was like a two-parter, is extended to an hour. Okay. But see, it's twice. It's see. two out of 22 episodes. <laughs> That's what, yeah. See, I mean, to me, that and that's three seasons. You have got two episodes that are longer, over forty minutes, in three seasons. I don't even have to look any farther to kind of just cement our point. Yeah, yeah. Point, point Speaking proven. Of Peacock, I think we have. I think we have. Point I proven. I want to do a whole. We will do a, definitely do a whole podcast on that because it makes me. Oh, I want to. Upset. Yeah, I want to. Speaking of uh, Peacock, they've uh, even though they had Five Nights at Freddy's was a huge hit. And they've had some pretty good. Um, they had the uh, the prequel series to John Wick, that was huge. They had the um, first oh, yeah. ever streaming only NFL playoff game that was that was big. That was huge um, for them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But their fourth quarter, they still lost eight hundred and twenty five million dollars for mm. the quarter. They have now thirty one million subs. They did add three million subs. Now that sounds bad. But they passed a billion in revenue for the first time ever in a quarter, and they lost nine hundred and seventy-eight million the year before. So that's okay. So they're up. <laughs> so I guess they, comparatively speaking, <laughs> they're doing better. We didn't lose as much as close to a billion <laughs> fucking dollars this year. Aren't you happy, hey guys, executives? We, we lost one hundred fifty million less this year. Wow. Oh. Wow. So you lost 150 million? No, no, less. <laughs> less. Yeah. <laughs> well, what? They had Twisted Metal, Ted, the football thing, and then like uh, that. Mario this year. Um, oh, Mario. Oh, you're talking year, overall. If you okay. want to count for the whole year. Oh, Trolls also for the last quarter. Okay. Yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's and, and Trolls. Trolls. That helped were them. The, were the things that helped well, them. Technically, migration, out. right? I mean... I don't know that... if that made it in the last quarter. I think it just now is hitting streaming. I think it hit January. Okay. This is not for so like NBC think... overall. Yeah. It's this just is quarter for... four. Yeah, through mm, December 31st. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I just don't want Peacock to go away because I think they're a nice alternative to what else we got out there. Peacock doesn't have like an ad plan yet, does it? It's like one of the only ones that doesn't. I think doesn't... they do. No, oh, of course. They have... I think that's <laughs> all they have is like an ad now pretty much. Hmm. And then... Okay. They don't have five like separate plans for like HD no, and ad. Two, yeah, maybe yeah. Three. Good. I just pay the five ninety nine because you know I started paying it and now they got me. Paramount <laughs> Plus has gotten out of control over there, and they like play twenty minute ads before you watch anything on there, and yeah. it's like it's everybody's just... main plan became the middle plan, while they quietly added a premiere plan and screwed everybody. Yeah, <laughs> it's gross. Let's get into box office. I hate it. <laughs> Speaking of stealing our money. Um, our favorite movie of the year so far, after debuting in second, has now moved up to first, and I'm super excited. Beekeeper dropping only fourteen percent to seven point four million. I don't know if anything's gonna beat that. Like it sounds stupid, but not a lot coming out this year. I mean like Kung Fu oh, Panda will be good. Movie, Ghostbusters yeah. will probably be good, Deadpool will probably that, be good. I but... think that will make it in our top ten for the year for best movie. I think so. Ever. Like, the, everything I just said is IPs with, like, a following that you need to go watch mm-hmm. other movies for. Beekeeper is, like, probably the best standalone movie of the year, you know, and it's end of January. I can say that probably for a fact, you know, that it, it will be my favorite, or one of my top ten. It's Yeah, I hope it keeps making money, too, because this is another MGM, so this is, like, an Amazon thing. Yeah. And it's already at over $42 million, which exceeded last year's big January movie, Plane. Remember that one? Plane. No. <laughs> That's okay. Um, plane? It's it was also just called exceeded, Plane? It's just called, it was called Plane. It came out in January. It was rated R. It made like $32 million the entire time. So this has already <laughs> lapped that. Um, plane, as in flat, meaning it didn't go anywhere. <laughs> uh, Beekeepers also exceeded the final totals of a bunch of his other comparable ti- titles. And basically any movie that's not 
Fast and the Furious, Expendables, or Meg. Wow. Because most of his movies, if it's just him, earn between 50 and 30 million on like, average. So he's what, already, like, this is like his biggest non movie. And like mm-hmm. Crank. The Mechanic. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. Safe. And wow. Parker. And Homefront. Yeah. Oh my God. I've not seen any of those. <laughs> Mechanic 2. Resurrection. Mmm. Gotta love Mechanic <sighs> 2. Resurrection. Oh my God. That sounds so <laughs> stupid. Like that's not real, no, but it is. That's not real. That's uh, a fake. That's a fake Simpsons name. So. <laughs> uh, mean Girls, Mean Girls was number two in its third week, falling thirty seven percent to just under at seven point three million, um, which is still good. Still doing, still doing, still doing great. Doing well, it's yeah. at sixty one million through seventeen days. It's kind of can end up being right around where the first Mean Girls was. You said the um, biggest problem well, with that was they didn't push it as a musical, right? And like uh, people like didn't yep. know and were like walking out. So it's like Beekeeper was yeah. like it's Jason Statham kicking ass, and they show him like fight ten FBI dudes in the trailer. You know what you're getting, you know? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say yeah. Joe talks about my eleven year old. He he said like he sees videos of people not knowing it's a musical and like rolling their eyes walking out of the theater because mm. you know, they didn't they didn't know they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'd be a little pissed too if I didn't know, you know. Like what is happening? Are they singing? Yeah, like, why they're are they, singing. This is gonna yep. be for a second, right? They should nope, have like nope. framed two, that better. Like in. the the movie adaptation of the musical adaptation of the original movie. <laughs> you know, <laughs> make it a joke. Yeah, like lean into it. Yeah, but they didn't because they're not us. Mm. <laughs> What's number three? Uh, Wonka still number three. Wow, twelve like percent to about six million. It's now just uh just under five million from hitting two hundred million domestically. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, I would not have expected have, that. It's one percent I know, me neither. It's one percent behind the behind the uh, Johnny Depp one. So I think it's gonna pass that. Good. It needs to. <laughs> Cause it's it's better um, than the Johnny Depp one. Yeah. It is. It's running ahead of Greatest mm. Showman, Mary Poppins Returns. Wow. Uh, okay. Migration number four falling only six. Shut up, bro. That's so stupid. <laughs> Stupid. To over five million, it's now at one hundred one point two million, crossing the hundred million mark yesterday. Oh, um, it is now less than a million behind Trolls, and it'll probably beat Trolls next weekend because of the legs it's got. Why it has, though? That movie's the such legs, like... dude. It has the chance to beat Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Mutant Mayhem, Stop. which finished at just under one nineteen. Stop. Stop it. And it opened up to like 10 million. It's like it hasn't made the same amount, but that's like Puss in Boots legs, you know, it is. almost. Yeah. It's gross. Like, that's and those two movies are <laughs> from Worlds different apart. from different universes, Un- yeah. Different multiverses, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Holy shit. Um, uh rounding out the top 5, anyone but you, the rated R uh comedy that's chugging down only 11%. It's at seventy one percent domestically and has broken a hundred million worldwide, which is yeah. crazy. They that gotta keep that in 70. theaters for the next two weeks, so Valentine's Day. I think they will. Yeah. yeah. I think it's gonna leg out a little better. I think it'd probably end up getting close to nine. Or like disguise it as a re release even, you know? Like take it out for like a week and then put it back in two weeks later or some shit, you know? Yeah, we gotta go see that. We gotta We gotta that. go see that. We gotta go see that for sure. Um rounding out Anything was uh, uh that that's of relevance was fighter at number six. It's uh Viva Entertainment's Indian Hindi language action. Oh okay, thriller. people like those. It those was, do uh, well. Yeah, three and a half million, which is pretty good for b- very little marketing. Well, yeah, last, their last movie. No, me neither. Their last movie they released for the, under that label um in t- 2022 did 2.9 million. So this is already ahead of of that. So that's doing well. Cool. Um, good. Poor, poor things is getting expanded this week again. Mm-hmm. We'll have to that review. Twenty three hundred theaters. We'll have a review as that actually goes big. Um, American Fiction is going to seventeen hundred theaters, which is as most it's been released. And thank God, go Good. see that movie. Go see that movie. It just went up to sixty, uh, up sixty five percent, and finished is in the top ten now. American Fiction. Fuck yeah, making dude. some money. That movie rules. Go see American Fiction, please. Be- yeah, be- and if you missed so we- Oppenheimer, yeah. <laughs> it's coming back. If you miss Killers of the Flower Moon, it's coming back to a bunch of Ooh, theaters. Ooh, okay. Shit. But honestly, if you got to pick one, American Fiction. I okay, is, if you had to is, pick is what one, I would say. yeah. If you had to pick one, if you have to pick two, just Kill- go see all three. If you have to pick, I was going to say, Killers of the Flower Moon is really fucking good. It's but really it's good. Just, really depressing. It's just long. It's just fucking like a 
two and an hour, 45 minute movie. It's just, I don't know about yeah, sitting makes, in a theater for sad. that one. Yeah. <laughs> By the by the way, um, Aquaman f- is in is in ninth. It, it's at two point eight million. It's almost at one hundred and twenty million now domestically, which is Oof. crazy. Godzilla, check our review out for that. Um, is uh, rounding out the top ten in its ninth weekend. But it did get the re-release, right? The monochrome. It, it did. It did yeah. get to push a, into some more theaters this week. But that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. That's at that's at fifty five million now domestically. That movie cost ten. What million about dollars. what about uh what about Night Swim and uh, that crappy ISS what movie? It? What about uh what, what about <laughs> 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 Night Swim is twelfth. It dropped only twenty five percent, but it's at twenty six point eight million. ISS is fourteenth. Mm. Um, it dropped fifty five percent more. <laughs> oof, and it is at. Five point five million. Oh no! Through two weeks. Oh no! Um, so that that's pretty much. Sucks. Yeah, not good. <laughs> not good. Holy shit! Okay, so there box you go. office. There's your, there's yeah. your box office. There's your nice. box office stuff. We finally have some bigger movies starting to come out soon, so we'll get to finally get into that as February rolls. And we got Argyle coming out. I'm excited. Oh for yes, that movie. that's <coughs> this week, right? I February think that's this week. February second, I think it's got like some I weird think release. It is. It's like a I Tuesday, it's but doesn't it's yeah. tomorrow as we're or posting. Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, what? What? Yeah, <laughs> I'm excited to see that though. I'm 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 super I'm pumped. S- for, I'm super excited to see that. I don't want to be excited for another movie to go watch it and then be let down. You know. True, you're right. But this one right. doesn't look like that. It looks like a bullet train. So I think I'm gonna be. Sam pretty Rockwell. Hyped. Sam Rockwell. Sorry. Yeah, I'm in. I can say no more. He's throwing a cat off a building. I'm in. I'm in. 